Richie here at NAMM 2015 with Mike at the Gibson booth. How you doing, Mike? Great. Thank you guys for coming. So what do you have for us? Well, we're just going to go through some of the new lineup and new changes for 2015. Let's start here with our new studio. We had this out for a couple years, and we keep developing to, to, to make it better. So this year we've added the binding. We've got a locking stop tailpiece. It's got the locking tone pro bridge, and we've actually changed our colors. We've got a new sunburst, and we've got this beautiful in our Studio 339 sort of rich dark cherry. And let's move ahead. This goes into our satin line, which is the next step up. And once we get to the satins, you'll see the rosewood fingerboards. We, we used to have dots. Well, we've changed the dots out for the 60s block. It's, a, it's just a beautiful inlay, and it, it stresses it a little more. Of course, all of these have the historic truss rod now. All of these also have a bone nut. Uh, we switched over from the man-made nut to the bone nut. It works better. When you tune, it's just smooth. And everyone knows the bone nuts have been around forever. They hold up, and there's just something about them. So, let's move it on. Here's our figured guitar. I'm gonna pull this one down. We have a new Sunburst. This is our new VS Sunburst. It's a little more translucent. The yellow is just a little more vibrant. It's, it's warm, but it really pops. So it doesn't really go to black too much on the no, side. No, okay, you can see. see, because we wanted to make sure that that figure would really come through. And of course, we have the 339 that's been around a few years and it's just so popular. It's just, it's at 335 that's just a little bit smaller for some comfort. Now moving across, we've got another figure, 335, and that brings us into our Les Paul line. We started producing an ES Les Paul last year. Uh, been very well received. The guitars are built just like every ES. They're made out of a laminated maple, poplar maple. They have a center block. And because we wanted to reproduce a Les Paul, a Les Paul is really, if you think about it, take it to its core, it's mahogany with a maple top. That's, that's a Les Paul. So we put the mahogany on the inside, maple top, and it's got ES construction. So they weigh in around six pounds. They've got the Les Paul sound, but it's got that airy ES tone that just brings it in and adds an extra depth to it. And since we really enjoyed these, we, we just, we started building these and loved them, we actually put our, our Memphis Historic Spec humbuckers in this guitar. So, and what makes those guitars, those pickups special is they're asymmetrically wound, they're a little bit, a little underwound, mismatched coils, and they're not potted. So you get that sparkle, that high-end sparkle that you lose when you pot the pickup. And we've got new winding. Our, our modern winding is much more uniform than the original, so they don't scream. You can still get your feedback, but it's musical. You work with it. So they've been really good. And let's jump into the Les Paul bass. This is brand new for the show. We've taken the same ES Les Paul construction, changed the internal center block a little bit to accommodate the changes in scale length. Uh, same laminated body, and the neck is exactly a Les Paul shape. So guitar players can pick it up and it feels normal. It, it, it just it's just a guitar. It's a short scale, 30.2 inch scale, and it balances perfectly. We've got the hardware down here on this end holding it down, and we went with the Hipshot Ultralight Tuners, manufactured in New York, and that combined here, you put it on a strap, it just sits. So this, I think, is going to prove to be a lot of fun. We're, guys are just having a ball playing it. Uh, we're using our own MHS bass pickups for this guitar. Now, moving back over here, we just got a few more Les Pauls. This is our other core model in the Lemon Burst. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> That's what I said when they painted it. We have a wonderful finished department. We just said, guys, come up with something. And it was like, we've got it. <laughs> I love these guys. And then we just had fun with the Les Pauls. You need a gold top, and a gold top always looks good in VOS, just like you saw. So here you go. Here's your 1957 brand new 2015 ES Les Paul. 
Uh, and you can see Lenny Kravitz playing his. Very cool. Thank you very much, Mike.